Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today we are going to be making a spell bottle. So spell bottles is something that we sell in our Desert Cauldron shop. You see we've um, made a couple already and we're going to be putting them up on the site pretty soon, but here is the um, Prosperity Abundance bottle. So there's particular like herbs and um, other things that we put in here in order to help bring in that prosperous energy and using some color magic for the wax seal. Um, we have another one here. This one is our love spell jar. So again, using the color magic and particular herbs and um, pieces of feathers and things like that that have been placed in here as well as some crystals. Um, but yeah, we've been doing a lot of interesting things at Desert Cauldron. Actually, this is one of our latest things. Um, this is um, a deer antler uh, wrapped in leather and then we have this awesome crystal at the very tip if you guys can see that that's so cool so right now that's just chilling over here but today like i said we're going to be making a spell bottle so i just want to show you how i make mine um and if you guys have made spell bottles before make sure to place that down in the comment section down below how you guys make your bottles but i have my little um I would say like my recipe book <laughs> of how I make my, my spell bottles and my salves and my sprays and all of that. Um, I have some hemp because we're gonna be using some of that. Of course, we are going to need scissors. Um, I have written out these little spells um, that are gonna be rolled up and placed inside the bottle, kind of like I've done with these two bottles here. You can see like the little uh, spell paper is in there. Need a funnel so that I can basically put the herbs inside these bottles. Um, I have some quartz crystals, which I'm gonna be placing in there, and some coyote teeth. So yes, these are actual coyote's teeth. Um, oftentimes, people just kind of like walking through um, areas where there maybe aren't any homes and things like that, it's easy to kind of come across animal remains and things like that. So we have some uh, coyote teeth here. Um, I have my different colors of wax uh, that I use for my color magic to top each of my bottles. I'm gonna be using this little stick here to kind of just do something like this or like push the herbs down into the bottle and also to kind of arrange things, you know, so people can kind of see the coyote teeth and, and all of that. But okay, so the type of spell bottle that we are making today is a protection spell bottle. So I have a lot of my protection herbs here I have chosen seven herbs, uh, seven because I find it to be uh, a very powerful number, um, but also in Mayan astrology, it's a number of endings. And so, um, and also represents Shibalba, which is the underworld. And so I'm wanting a bit of protection. Um, so I have chosen herbs that are specifically uh, connected with protection and purification. Um, and this little spell that I've uh, written out to be placed inside these bottles also goes along with that, um, placing the quartz in there for amplification of the herbs, amplification of the um, written spell itself. Um, and also the coyote teeth uh, for protection because oftentimes in many native cultures, coyote is seen as the trickster, um, but helps us to see the worlds beyond worlds. So um, if, you know, we're, we're looking for protection. We don't just want it on the 3D plane, we want it on all the planes. And coyote is really good for that. So that's why I wanna place coyote teeth in there, but you could substitute it with like nails and uh, things like that, like rusty nails. I mean, not fingernails, although maybe if you want to. <laughs> um, but anyway, okay. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. These bottles that I have here, by the way, are antiques. They are over a hundred years old. Um, and having that old energy, you know, being able to see, you know, basically um, a century's worth of life here on this planet, we're putting these very special herbs and these very special things inside a, a unique special bottle, you know. So if we were making something um, that has a specific purpose and that is unique, the vessel that it is contained in should also be unique in its own energy. Okay, so I'm going to be starting off with this old bottle here. And so these are all old medicine bottles. You can see this one's got like an old cap on it. Okay, so uh, first things first, I'm gonna put my little funnel on top. 
and I'm going to place my herbs inside. These herbs kind of stink just a little bit because I have valerian in here. Um, and uh, valerian is in the mint family. Uh, it kind of goes along with catnip and many cats love the smell of valerian, but um, to some people it smells like dirty diapers it's <laughs> or dead bodies or whatever. It's not a pleasant smell, uh, but just think of it on the, um, you know, spiritual plane how that energy of something being quite unpleasant is quite unpleasant for them as well okay so i'm gonna try to smoosh some of these bay leaves down in there bay leaf really good for protection go in the hole okay and then these little pieces i could probably just pop in there like that There we go. And then stuff it down on in. And you know, this just takes a little bit of time. You don't want to rush a spell bottle because the whole time you're supposed to be putting your intention into these bottles. And since these are bottles that are going to be going into our shop, I want to make sure that I have some very focused intention so the people purchasing these magical items um, really feel what they were intended for. Okay. Do, do, do. Place that little bay leaf in there. I used whole bay leaves. I just kind of like tore them up with my fingers. Okay. So as you can see, we have a little bit of herb in there now. I'm actually going to place that crystal in there that quartz crystal, there it is. I'm trying to, so get it so it's near, there you go. It's near the, the outer skirts of the herbs so people can see that it's in there. Um, and then I'm going to place a coyote tooth in there. Let's go ahead and find a particular tooth. I think we're gonna go ahead with this one. So we have tooth, I'm gonna place that in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna continue with my herbs, placing them inside, and then we'll stop once again so that we can put our written spell inside you know, particular words you've chosen for protection. So when you guys are making your spell bottles, first of all, think about, okay, what do you want the purpose of this bottle to be? Okay, and then it's great to come up with your own words. Um, what words would you speak in order to fulfill the mission of that particular bottle? Um, what herbs do you feel drawn to? Um, sometimes it's good to look up um, magical uses of certain herbs on the internet, but I think it's also really good to go with your intuition because plants um, just like, you know, are connected to the earth, just like we're connected to the earth and they'll speak to us. They'll let us know which ones want to be used for, you know, a particular spell or whatever it is that you guys are crafting. Uh, even when you guys are cooking, you know, certain herbs might present themselves and be like, hey, I'll be really good for this meal. So there are little allies. They want to help us. They want to work with us. Okay, so I'm just gonna move some stuff around in here. You can see the uh, coyote's tooth is in here. I have the little quartz in here, but I just wanna make sure that it's a little bit more prominent. As well as this little crystal. Okay. And then I'm going to roll up one of these little pieces of paper. To like a little teeny scroll. And that way it's infused with the energy of all seven herbs. Very powerful. Amplified by the quartz. Um, protected with animal medicine. Um, and also we have some... Um, magical words 
Okay, and then we continue in with our herbs. So again, you know, let me know in the comment section what spell bottles you guys have made or what spell bottles you're thinking of making. Like I said, we have our prosperity spell bottles, we have our love spell bottles, and now we're going to be having our protection spell bottles. I'll be doing um, another form for healing um, a little bit later today. All right, we just tap that down in there without breaking our 100-year-old glass. <laughs> little bit more. Okay, while that's going, I'm going to light this little candle over here because um, we're going to use that to help melt our wax when we get to that. When we have enough herbs placed within the bottle. And so you might be wondering, what do you do with these spell bottles? Well, uh, you can place them in your sacred space. You can place them on your altar. Um, you can place, well, this one is a for protection. So maybe you can place it near your front door or the door to your bedroom, um, wherever you would like to place the energy. So think of it just like we, we place crystals in certain parts of our house because of the energy that they have. Think of the spell bottle in just the same way. You know, you have all of this magic contained in one little vessel here, you know, um, crystals, animal, plant, um, words, they're all in there. Um, so you can keep everything in the bottle if you wish. And you know, the bottle itself, of course, is unique too. Um, but if you wanted, you could always, you know, take the wax off the top and place all the herbs and everything that was in the bottle into an offering bowl and place it in your sacred space. Um, if you wanted to burn it like loose leaf incense, or if you wanted to scatter it around your property, you can do that too. It's totally up to you what you guys do with your spell bottles. I like to keep everything contained in the bottle because the bottles are you know, pretty unique and special. Okay, I'm gonna do just a little bit more herb here. Um, and I think they go really well on my, my altar space. All right, so we're gonna place just that last little bay leaf down in there, do another little tap, tap, tap. And as you can see, we have our little scroll in there. Down in here, you can see the coyote tooth, and then there's the crystal that's right next to it. Okay, so now I'm going to take a piece of this hemp And I'm actually going to ball it up because I don't have a cork for this. So I kind of have to make my own cork. So I'm going to go just like this. Ta-da! And then I'm going to grab a little piece of twine like this, a little piece of hemp. And I'm going to wrap it around the neck of the bottle. You know, just in case you wanted to at some point hang charms off of it or whatever you want to do with the hemp. There we go. You can see it there. All right. Um, let's see. I'm going to use. Let's see, what color do I want to use? You know, I think I want to use black. Black is really good at repelling. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm just gonna move some of my stuff out of the way here. And we use this little metal spoon 
to melt the wax. So I'm going to melt three little pieces of this at a time because the spoon is just kind of tiny. And I actually got this little wax set off of Amazon. It wasn't too expensive. All right, so it takes a while for it to melt, so I will join you guys back when it is all melted. Okay, so we're back. It looks like my wax is all melted here, so I'm gonna do this a couple of times, but basically I just place it around the cork first, the cork that I made, so it can kind of like sink into the bottle just a little bit. And then um, I'm gonna seal it one last time in another thing of wax. So I'll meet you back for the next layer. All right, and we are back with the final wax touch. Trying to get it all coated there in the black wax. Right. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there. And there you have it. I mean, it has to dry, the wax has to dry. Um, but that is a protection spell bottle. Um, but remember, you can make spell bottles for anything that you guys are trying to create or manifest. Um, you know, I just like to use uh, my uh, plant allies, animal allies, crystal allies, and color magic, um, as well as using these antique bottles and placing them all together to create one powerful bottle of magic. And so this one will actually be available in our shop, Desert Cauldron. Um, so uh, check it out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you guys have made spell bottles before. Um, do you use uh, color magic? Do you use herbs? Do you use, um, you know, written words or, um, you know, anything like that? Crystal allies? Uh, do you place in your bottles? Maybe it's all crystals. Let me know. Um, and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you dug it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. Um, I have a lot of different types of readings. I also have my room and body sprays. I have my salves, but if you're looking for these types of items, you're looking for witchy items, you're looking for unique, handmade, one of a kind, um, you know, wands and things like that. Uh, we have so many things over at Desert Cauldron. It's all one word on Etsy or find us on Instagram at desert.cauldron uh, because oftentimes we'll show that we've made something like this and that you could DM us there on Instagram and we can send you a PayPal invoice and you'll oftentimes get it much cheaper uh, than when it's placed on our Etsy shop just because we have to incorporate Etsy fees and things like that. But we have so many one of a kind items, many that are handmade uh, either by us or local artisans, um, but we figure that you know everybody's practice is unique and so we have to have items available for you that are as unique as your practice. So come dance in the desert with us over at Desert Cauldron. And yeah, all my other information is down below for like my newsletter, Patreon, um, you know, my own mystery school where I teach my astrology and all of that. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you spiritual homies later, all right? Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.